It's now day nine, the evening of the hunger strike protest outside Lloyd's BSU, where Lloyd's been doing fraud on customers. Um, we've given out over 3,000 leaflets and we've heard an awful lot of horror stories that Lloyd's have been doing. A lot of people now um, cancelling counts and so on. Um, I'd like to say a big thanks to Lazelle, Brian Henson, um, especially Anna, who shouldn't be with us because her daughter is pretty ill at the moment and Anna should be there, but yet she still comes along because there's um, a great problem with what Lloyds are doing to people and their families and the little ones, especially teenagers, they don't understand what's going on. Uh, mums and dads try and protect their children, but um, the banks keep doing it and it's pretty sick. Lloyd's claiming that they do bits for mental health. Well, they do, they cause it. And it's pretty disgusting that mental health charities um, claim that they associate with Lloyds Bank. So day 10 tomorrow, um, we really could do with small protesters. We've even had um, Joan and Steve Finch down that were lifesavers. They'd done um, another thousand leaflets in the evening and brought them down next day. So thanks for that. And um, additionally, Graham Stewart, who came down for two days and protested with us, um, he flew down all the way from Newcastle but we do need more Lloyd's victims and people that are going to support us to do bits my energy levels are very very low now and um, we need some more help out there so if anyone could give a day or two please do so because this is, this is pretty heavy going I've got to try and make it through to Tuesday the 10th um, earlier I was sort of it was like seeing through um, a, a misty lens sort of thing and so on but I'm going to try and keep going because like I could say it's not just the adults it's affecting now we must have had um, or I've had in the last two years about 12 phone calls from adults that have been near suicide um, who fortunately didn't um, but the thing that we can't really accept is what the banks are doing to the children, it's, it's especially teenage children that are um, not quite understanding what's going on. Some have lost their homes, or they've seen mum and dad stressed through Lloyd's stealing their businesses, and a lot of these kids now are self-harming. There's about five cases that I know of in the last um, three months, four months, and in some of those cases, ambulance has been called. And I think in the worst case, um, probably Tuesday, um, one very intelligent little girl slashed her legs um, over a hundred times with a, um, a razor blade that um, the parent thought was hidden. And that's not good. It's not acceptable. And for that, I need to keep this hunger strike up a few more days. But we please, please do need more support because it is pretty tough out there. And uh, the odd hour here and there isn't going to help us. We need people to come along about 11 o'clock in the morning to about 3, 4 o'clock um, in the afternoon because it is, is having an impact. We're getting great support from the police. Um, our panto horse... Norman Hosorio, um, Lloyds can't like that and uh, we just need to keep this up a little bit longer. So if you can give up a day or two here and there and you're a Lloyds victim and you want out of this, please join us on the front line. Uh, we look forward to Juliet Mottram coming back over the weekend. Uh, Juliet's already done a day with us, um, but it's not enough. We need more people helping on this. Thanks.